Hello there. Today we're going to be drawing another one of my favourite garden birds. They're actually more of a woodland bird, but they are common garden visitors up and down the country here. And I'm going to give you some clues, see if you can guess which bird it's going to be. So the first clue is that it's an acrobat. An acrobat. Yes, an acrobat. It can hang upside down off bird feeders and tiptoe to the end of the tiniest branches of a tree to get the insects and grubs that are hanging out there. It's also a pretty small bird. It's not our smallest bird in the UK, but it is pretty small and it doesn't weigh very much. In fact, it only weighs 11 grams. 11 grams. What does 11 grams look like? <laughs> That's funny you should ask. 11 grams looks like five chocolate buttons. That doesn't weigh very much at all. They have a bright yellow belly and the last clue, I think this is going to give it away, the last clue is that they have a bright blue head. Have you guessed it? Okay, if you've said blue tit, you're absolutely right, well done. And uh, this is the kit that you're going to need to draw along with me today. So we're going to start with our pencil and our sheet of paper and you can have the sheet of paper in any direction you want. Um, I quite like it landscape but you could have it portrait or you could have it on an angle, whatever, whatever you fancy. And I'm going to go slap bang in the middle and start my blue tip there. So I'm going to start with the, the beak. Blue tits have really, really small beaks. It's like a triangle without the shorter edge at the bottom and then another one just at the bottom there, almost like a V shape. And a line from the top to the bottom and a little hole there and that's our that's our beak. And then blue tits have sort of a, a quite a round head. In fact, their whole bodies are quite round. A bundle of round feathers, I think. Um, so from the top of the, the beak here, we're just going to do a little line. And then we're going to bring the head up quite a bit. Ooh, Ooh that's quite big. And bring it down to about here. Okay, that that is quite a big head, but we'll go with it. And then we're going to go from the bottom of the, the, the beak here. And it really does have quite a round body. So we're just going to bring the line right the way down like this. And then up like that. And then just a little curve in the top. And then nice and straight down for the wings and then whilst we're here we put in the tail feathers with a, a longish tail feather not tail but you know tail feathers uh, they're feathers and then bring that back up to the top like that so there's the rough shape of our blue tit okay we might change the shape a little bit down here as we go. In fact, we'll just do that just now. There you are. So then we come back to the head and we're going to give our blue tit an eye and it's a small round eye and then we'll put a small circle in the top corner and then colour the rest of it in. And blue tits have a lovely eye line that comes right around the side of their head. So we're going to draw that in. It starts somewhere around the beak and then comes around like this and it goes over the top of the eye and then sort of dips a little bit to come around to the back of the head. And it's not a particularly thick line, but it's enough to notice it. And we're just going to colour that bit in and then take the line from the bottom of the eye 
and to the back of the head. Okay. And then they also have big white cheeks and a black line that comes around the bottom of their cheeks. So, and up to the bottom of their bill like that. And then from the bottom of their, their bill here, and take the line down and it disappears around the other side of the body. And then we take the line from under here and we follow that to there and then follow this black line to the back of the body and colour it in. Okay, it's starting to take shape. So then we take our pencil and from the eye, sort of come down a wee bit to about here. But this is where we're going to start our wing. So we'll just bring a line for our wing like that. And then it's a nice sharp line, nice straight line to the back here. And if you miss the bottom of your tail, your, um, your feathers there, then just bring it down a bit further. Oh, hang on, I need to go and get a spare. Okay, so I have a new pencil. Get rid of that one. And we'll carry on with our line here down to our wing feathers. And blue tits have a white band across their feathers, about there. So we'll not colour that in with anything later on. And I think at this stage we will give our blue tit some legs. So from the white band to about here on its body, put a leg out here. And we'll put a leg here. And this blue tit is going to be on the very edge of a branch. So we're going to draw the branch next. Take our brown crayon and bring in a wiggly line here just underneath the legs like that. And we want to make our branch a little bit thicker than that. So. Make a, a line like that. And then the wispy bits at the end will just thicken up a little, a little few twigs at the end. So we're going to put in his feet clinging to the clinging to the branch. So that's his back toe. And then just some little marks like this of the front toes disappearing around the front of the branch like that. And if you want to spend a bit more time on that, then uh, just pause the video and come come back to, to it once you've you've done those bits. Now we're going to add some colour to the blue tip and blue head really gives this little character away, makes them pretty easy to identify. Nice blue head and there's a little blue blue bit just there and then some blue on the wings as well. We'll just follow that down and then the tail feathers are quite quite blue as well. So just some lines like that. And then we're going to take our yellow crayon and blue tits have really lovely bright yellow bellies 
so ours is going to have a bright yellow belly as well. Okay, and if you know what a blue tit looks like, you might be screaming at the screen just now saying, what are you doing? They don't have yellow backs. And you would be right. They don't have a yellow back, but they do have a sort of a greeny, greeny yellowy sort of back um, where the very, very small feathers are. So I'm doing a very light area of yellow and then I'm taking my light green crayon or pencil, if you're using pencils, and I'm going over the top of it like that. And then I'm going to take my darker green crayon or pencil, if you're using pencils, and go over the top like that. So it doesn't look exactly like a blue tip wood in your garden, that sort of colour, but, but it's as close as I'm going to get with some crayons. And we're going to pick our uh, pencil back up again and start to just draw in some some tiny, tiny feathers. If you think, you know, the blue tit is so, so tiny and um, they need to have tiny, tiny feathers up here. I'll just speed this bit up. And then on the edge of their wings, the lines of each of the longer feathers are a bit more obvious. And then we're going to do the tail feathers, just some very simple lines. You mix your lines up, you know, if you press really heavy you'll get a thick dark line and if you press a little lighter then you'll get a lighter line and it's nice to have a mixture. Okay, and you could finish there um, if you wanted, and that, that would be a blue tip, but I tend to get a little bit carried away, and I'm going to go in and just add some little extra feathers to my blue tit's head, and some little extra feathers to its belly, and um, I think that will finish it off quite nicely. So I'm just doing very, very small little marks with my pencil to give a very faint impression of some lines. And I don't want to overdo it because the main feature here is the blue head. I don't want to distract from that. And I'm going to do the same for the, the yellow belly. And there you have it, a beautiful blue tit. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.